Hello. So, I'm going to be doing the seventh day of JGVC for Jamie because he challenged me to do something amazing. Okay, so, I've built... I've built the rocket. This is my original model. This is the first rocket I've ever built. And then... Not so long ago, I built the crew of four rocket, which is uh, substantially bigger. You know, that's a huge rocket. But can I go even bigger and create the 16-seater rocket? Well, 16 might be a lot, but that's like my goal. <laughs> 16 people to fit in the rocket. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get to it. No, we'll see how this this thing goes. All right, so we're gonna start as all good projects do with a lift. All right, so I want this one to be quite grand. Uh, so I want I'm gonna make it out of um, metal rather than uh, concrete. Shocking, I know. And then I'm actually gonna make the fins out of. Uh, I'm gonna make the fins out of the red block. It's like called like spaceship material or something. All right, so let's turn this into a square. That's a that's a pretty good square if I've ever seen one. All right, so square. Maybe I'll make it bigger again. I'm going to have a little central beam. Uh, which, obviously, this isn't the right size, but here we go. This will be a little closer to the right size. Let's, uh, fill those in. That's that, and now that, yeah, so that's like our central support beam, and so what I'm going to do in the end is I'm going to have it so that there's a captain seat coming out of the middle, like this, and then all the, all the control stuff is here, it's like the central control panel, and so then there's also a bunch of seats around it, which is how I'm going to squeeze so many seats in, uh, and yeah, should work. Alright, so I'm just gonna keep on making this square bigger. I'll go with three this time. And boom, so let's, uh, oh, oops, I did not realize that, there we go, easy fix. Alrighty, so this is gonna be like the main, like, uh, I guess like, so this is the bottom room, so I guess it's like, the entrance sort of deal, um, but this time I'm gonna be a little more proactive in the entrance. Um, you know, actually make it good. <laughs> hmm. This isn't going to be the actual height because the rockets, you know. So I don't want this to be able to touch the ground, uh, like before I add the rockets. So I guess we'll adjust for that after I build the rockets. 
refreshers, I mean. And to, you know, reduce the weight that this is gonna add. Oh, oops. Didn't realize that this was double layered. Oh, I forgot that that would happen. I'm a buffoon. Okay. I can't shake like the feeling that this looks like a like a hippopotamus. Like the part with like like the like those are like the eyes and that's the nose. It kind of looks like a hippo. I don't know, I just think it's somewhat funny. <laughs> Alright. Uh, is there a ladder? I don't think so. I don't... I don't play this game all the time, to be honest. So, if there were a ladder, uh, and I just don't know about it, maybe, like... Not oh caps lock is on. Yeah, I mean saw blade, I mean pretty much the same thing, you know, if you think about it, it's like pretty much the same thing. Tower pole? Wait, could this be the use of like could this be of use for me? How big is this? Hmm. I feel like this could actually come in handy later in the build, like for uh doing, like, this. Uh, yeah, because this thing's gonna be massive, so. And also this, uh, hold on. Oops. This top bit. I feel like that would be good for the top of the spaceship. Hmm. Huh. Gives me something interesting to think about. So that's pretty good. I'll uh, fancy this up a little bit, you know. You know, fancification. And now it's fancy. Yes. Alright, living quarters. So I am actually going to put windows on this floor, because if you're supposed to live here, you're probably not going to want to always live in the dark. Because that would kind of, you know, suck. Uh, unless you like the dark, and always being in the dark, and never getting light, in which case you're probably really pale. Uh, and you're probably uh, deficient on vitamin D, so make sure to get plenty of sunlight. <laughs> But not too much, because if you get too much, you get skin cancer. Which is why, like, it's some, it's like kind of confusing, like, the sunlight. You know, do you want too much? <laughs> you know, obviously you don't want too much, but, like, where do you draw the line between getting too much and getting too little? You just have to be very careful. You know. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> so. Since this is actually, like, the middle. That's a good guide for where to put beams. Oops.
awesome, uh, awesome sauce. <laughs> but something I want to do just for the time being, uh, as like scaffolding, you know, for easier building. So goodbye, hard work. There we go. I'll just have to delete this whenever I'm all done. I guess that's like the point of scaffolding, so. I'm just trying to make this as like space efficient as possible, like go up as quick as I can. Oh, what's this? Get out of here. Skedaddle you. Rocket shit. trying to make sure that that was like centered because I want it to be centered so I like it when my things are symmetrical it's uh, pretty nice I could get through my world's fanciest scaffolding For a second, I thought I was climbing this, so I was really excited. I was actually just jumping. Just jumping really fancy. this thing to be undeniably a spaceship. So that's why I'm having these massive poles. Uh, why can't I place it? Boom. Uh, oops. That was not on purpose. You. I meant to go into here and grab. Uh, where are they? There it is. The top. This will serve as my. Yes. And then, as a sending off. Yes, I can build on top. This makes me so happy. I can actually. What I was gonna do, this is what I was gonna make the fins out of. Uh, so the rocket's gonna be like silver and red, which I think is really cool, personally. Uh, so I realize that the taller I make this thing, uh, the further uh, it is, like that you uh, get to the actual top, like, in the seat. But I don't actually care about that that much, because uh, it looks 
sick. <laughs> All right, let's see how this looks on the ground. Oh yeah, it does not. It well, it looks like a radio tower, but I mean, in the best way possible, you know. <laughs> um, but I feel like I could do better if I just like made it a little bit. Nah, you know, it's good. It's good. You know, whatever. And then I, I have to thank the uh, lift for being like the most powerful thing ever. Able to lift this much metal <laughs> into the air. It's, it's crazy. It's very powerful. Let's do this. There we go. That's all good. Alright, now... build a little staircase to get in before saving it because I made that mistake with the other version and I'm not a big fan. Alright, and now to the moment we've all been waiting for. We'll call this ulti Ultimate Spaceship. <laughs> Because I'd say it's pretty ultimate. Ultimate spaceship. Save that. Woo! Alright! <laughs> and now, we get to launch! Alright, so, get rid of that. Right, climb up. Uh, James, you better be playing epic music now. Get in our driver's seat. And then... You know, it's kind of some junk on the floor, but I don't care. We launch... Yes! 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 <laughs> it's fast! Yes! It's amazing. <laughs> I love this thing. Yes! It's definitely the ultimate spaceship. Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> it's so fast! <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, that was so much fun! <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I think that's gonna about do it for this video. Thank you for watching if you made it to the end here. Uh, and yeah, see ya. Have a very, very, ho have very great holidays. And, you know, make sure to really enjoy the time that you have with your family or friends because it is important time. Yeah, so just, <laughs> yeah, leave on a good note. Yeah. So, you know, uh, have a great um, day, month, you know, night, whatever. Whatever time you're watching this, I don't know. See ya.